Okay, so let's have a look at the built-in security features inside Google Meet. So down in my bottom right-hand corner of my screen, you can see there is our security shield. I'm going to pop that up, and it does pop up our what's called our host controls. So we have host management at the top switched on, which lets me restrict what people do inside my calls. Now, there's a list of things you can restrict there. There is you can stop people sharing their screen. You can stop people sending chat messages. You can allow people to turn on their microphone or not, and also to turn on their video or not. And down the bottom there is the quick access setting. Now you can have quick access on, which means people can just jump in, or you can have quick access off. Now, as it says down the bottom there, when it's turned off, everyone who isn't invited must ask to join, including people, including people inside your organization. So if they if you have invited people via calendar or via um, classroom, they will be able to join. But remember, in an education setting, a teacher must be in first before the students can join. Now, if you there are people who are not invited, so you've given them the, the link, then they will have to wait inside the waiting room because I have quick access switched off. So it's off, they must ask to join. And I'll show you what that looks like in just a moment. So inside Meet, I'm ready to um, admit people who come into my Meet. So this could be for um, for a report night, for, te for, um, for meetings with outside people. It could be for meetings with parents. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get two people to join. So I have a person down here ready to join. I'm just going to make sure that the mic and camera switched off. Now, what they get on their screen is a little thing saying ask to join. Now, I'm going to click that. And you'll see that Alan has asked to join. Now I have a little pop up at the top saying whether or not I want to admit them or deny. If I kick them out, they can ask to rejoin again. If I kick them out again, they cannot ask to rejoin. So for someone that wants to join your meeting, you don't want in there. If you kick them out twice, they will be denied entry and they can't even ask to join again. Now they have a, a message on their screen at the moment saying, asking to be let in now i have another person ready to join so i'll just get them to join as well i'm going to just mute their camera and mic so that we don't get some crazy feedback so they also have on their screen that sign saying ask to join so they're going to ask to join now when i click that you'll see at the top it says multiple people want to join this call now i can click allow all to come on in or I can go view all. If I go view all, I can choose to admit Alan. So Alan's going to pop in. Alan and I are having our conversation. You'll see there is still a notification at the top saying that somebody wants to join this call. So we are having our conversation here. Uh, if Alan turns on their mic, you can see that. Sorry, their camera. There's we're having a bit of a conversation there. Um, we can have our meet, um, and then once uh, Alan leaves. He will hang up. So here he is hanging up. And then I say that. So Hine is still waiting at the top there. I will now admit Hine into the call. We're having a conversation with Hine. We're having a chat, chat, chat. There we go. Have a nice meeting. Then Hine is going to um, leave the call once she has finished having our conversation. And now at the end of my call as well, I can click the hang up. When I click hang up, it is going to give me a notification that says, do you want to end this call for everyone? So what I can do is I can switch that on and it will allow me to end the call for everyone. So everyone get, gets kicked out and the call is over. So if I click that, it will end our call. Everyone is kicked out and they can't rejoin because I've got those settings set up. So that's how you do the meeting room inside meet that's how you admit only certain people so i'm going to end the call and hope this helps catch you next time